Oh, baby. Middleton, very rare Dare Gaelic, an Irish whiskey I was introduced to about three years ago. And since, one that I always look for for each release, Middleton Dare Gaelic means simply Irish oak. It's the result of a six-year exploration by Middleton into using native Irish oak to mature Irish whiskey. Now, historically, there is a range of releases that have been matured in barrels made from virgin Irish oak from particular forests across Ireland. Now, the oak is selected for each release, uh, which influences the whiskey and gives each a unique flavor of Ireland. Sound interesting? Let's learn more. It's the Mass and Drum. What's up, folks? I'm Jason C. from The Master Drum, and welcome to the show. As I mentioned, Middleton's Dare Gaelic has been a range of releases that have been matured in barrels made from virgin Irish oak from particular forests across Ireland. All right, so before we learn a little more about the newest Dare Gaelic from Middleton, take a look at today's sponsor, Shaker and Spoon. All right, you guys have heard me talk about Shaker and Spoon before, and for good reason. I love their subscription so much, and I've gotten a ton of feedback on how much folks love it as well that I decided to make some more cocktails and show you just how great these boxes are and how much I appreciate them being a sponsor. Now, Shaker & Spoon is a subscription service that teaches you to make bar quality cocktails from recipes designed by award-winning mixologists. Shaker & Spoon builds these boxes around one singular spirit and tries to give you different styles of cocktail making. Included in the box, you get all these different recipe cards that guide you through mixing and garnishing each cocktail step by step with even a glossary that explains any unfamiliar bartending terms. They also have videos you can look up to help you along the way. Each box includes all the ingredients other than the alcohol for about 12 cocktails, four from each recipe. Everything you need, syrups, bitters, garnishes, infusions, they give you specialty syrups that are all house made, all created in small batches in Red Hook, Brooklyn. So this box happens to be centered around using bottled and bond apple brandy, which is a pretty popular spirit nowadays. Uh, the cocktail is called Pear Necessities. For this one, I already have my bottled and bond brandy in the shaker. I just need my supplied ingredients of vanilla pear shrub, ginger beer, and candy ginger. Now remember, they supply everything except for the alcohol, but at least you don't have to go around shopping for hours trying to find all these unique ingredients. All right, let's make it. So I need three quarters of an ounce of the vanilla pear shrub, which sounds delicious. Here we go. Ice, ice baby. Now it says to add a splash of the supplied ginger beer and then strain it into my glass. Then it says to top some more ginger beer on top and add some candy ginger for garnish. They actually give you these little, uh, these little toothpicks and candy ginger. Absolutely love it. All right, let's try it. I definitely get the vanilla, I get the pear, the ginger, obviously you're gonna taste. And I can taste that apple brandy. Absolutely delicious cocktail. These are the type of fun cocktails you can make with Shaker and Spoon. All the directions are laid out really well. So let's recap quickly. Shaker and Spoon is a monthly cocktail subscription box that will deliver these craft cocktails to your door. So if you're interested, click that link below in the description or use code MASH and DRUM at checkout for $20 off your first box. Again, click the link below in the description or use code MASH and DRUM for $20 off your first box. Now go get some fun cocktails with Shaker and Spoon and enjoy. Cheers, guys. So situated amidst rolling fields of barley, the native Irish woodland on the Ballykilcavan estate has been managed carefully by the Walsh chemist family for 13 generations since 1639. Kyle Beg Wood, or An Kilbeg in the Irish language, translates to the little wood. And it was in this little wood that native Irish oak was planted in 1820 to replace trees that were used for shipbuilding during the Napoleonic Wars. Today, David Walsh chemist manages the special oak in Kyle Beg Wood where seven trees, just seven, were carefully cut down to produce the finest Irish oak hogsheads for the latest chapter in the Der Gaelic series. Once harvested from Kylebeg, the oak logs were shipped to the Spanish region of Galicia, where the wood was cut using the same time-honored craft of quarter sawing. Next, the precisely shaped staves made the 10-hour journey from the sawmills to the Antonio Paez Lobato Cooperage in Jerez, Spain, where they were laid out to dry naturally in the warmth of the Spanish sun. 
15 months later, the Kalbeg Oak Staves were ready to be worked and only yielded 42 casks. Each was given a light toast to the specifications laid out by master distiller Kevin O'Gorman. Then it was filled with a specially selected range of 15 to 28 year old single pot still whiskey from Middleton themselves. So you have seven trees. Each tree yields a certain amount of barrels and bottles and different proof points. Tree one is 55.6% ABV. Tree two is 56.1. Uh, tree three, tree four, and tree five are all 56% uh, ABV. Tree six is 55.4. And the last one, tree seven is 55.9. Now I have tree five, which is 56 even, 112 proof. Uh, all the Middleton Dare Gaelics are single pot still, non-chill filtered, cast strength, natural color Irish whiskey. It's non h dated, but as I said, includes whiskey that's 15 to 28 years old. Uh, and then it's all finished in those uh, selected Kyle Begg wood casts from those seven trees. The retail price for this one, you're gonna probably pay around $340 for this bottle. So I was introduced to this whiskey about three years ago from uh, Matt over at Whiskey Crusaders. Uh, Whiskey Crusaders is another great channel. If you guys haven't uh, checked them out, please do. I was blown away at the complexity and the flavor that I was getting for an Irish whiskey. I'd never tasted anything like it. Uh, and ever since then, I've been hooked on these uh, Dare Gaelics from, uh, from Middleton. So let's dive in. Oh, holy hell, the nose on this thing is just ridiculous. It's orange marmalade, apple cinnamon, it's very peachy. There's a lot of peach. There's a lot of pineapple on the nose too. Older Irish whiskeys tend to get very tropical. Uh, stone fruits, uh, pineapple, uh, but still keeping that warm cinnamon uh, and spice that's driven by single pot still Irish whiskeys. There's still that that barley, unmalted barley, kind of like that, like that uh, that shortbread, like that buttered shortbread note that you get in, in good single pot still. I'm starting to get a little honey here too. Still that, that spice, that black pepper coming through from the uh, from the single pot still. Folks who only know like Jameson and some of the popular, uh, you know, even Redbreast, some of the popular, you know, well-known Irish whiskey brands that have never tasted this before really kind of miss out because high age Irish whiskey like this could be some of the most intriguing and some of the most whiskey that just has so much depth of flavor that it's hard to put into context unless you actually taste it. But so far the nose on this is absolutely delicious. Let's give it a go. Wow. A lot of that peach is coming through. Mm. Peach, pineapple, almost got like a ginger snap vibe right on the back end of that. A lot of black pepper, but the it's weird because the end of it, as fruit forward as this is, and it's very fruit forward, as soon as it hits the back of the palate, you start getting the caramel and the toffee. You know, some of the, uh, you know, just like some more traditional flavors that you're used to with the Irish whiskey aged in an ex-bourbon cask. Now last year's Dare Gaelic, which was a Knockrath Forest, gave me a lot more pineapple vibes. This is giving me way more peach, way more stone fruit, a little bit more toffee caramel, like I said. Shit. That is so damn delicious. It's expensive and it's rare to find one of these, unfortunately. But if you do, if anyone has a chance to try this thing, I mean, these things, these, these, these Middleton Dare Gaelics are just ridiculous. There's a, there's a darkness coming into the fold here, especially on the, the later sips, where you start getting like a milk chocolate, you start getting like a little, like a hint of a coffee bean. You start getting like a hint of a, not so much the stone fruit, but like a dark fruit note, like a like a fig or a raisin or something that's coming into it. It's crazy. So another thing that you get when you get one of these, um, if you're lucky enough to find one of these, you get the whole storybook in here. And the storybook just basically lays out, you know, some of the story that I went through uh, in the review. But man, it's it's kind of gives you what their Gaelic means. It, has some beautiful photos of the actual forest, uh, where Kyle Beg Wood is, and uh, how it's maintained, and how the trees are cut down, but they're immediately replanted. I always thought that uh, the Middleton Dare Gaelics have like this medieval, you know, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings type vibe to it, just on the name of it alone. Yeah, I think initially when anyone tastes this, you get hit with different fruits, uh, the stone fruits I mentioned, the peach, little hints of the pineapple, Mainly peach though for me on this one. 
Then mid palette, like I said, the toffee takes over, some of the vanilla cream kind of take over, kind of the the usual suspect notes you, you, would, you would expect from an Irish whiskey, kind of like that buttered shortbread note. And then back end, it is just all, it, then it gets like, the, it turns like to like this dark flavor. It gets a little bit chocolatey. It's just, it's a whirlwind of a whiskey. It's expensive, yes. Um, it's, it's pricey. There's seven different trees to choose from. Each tree can obviously garner a little bit of a different flavor profile on any of these. Like I said, this is tree five, which is absolutely delicious. But, you know, tree one through four and tree six and seven might have some different characteristics because it was a different tree, it was different barrels. Um, so you have to kind of take that into consideration uh, on the toast of those barrels and how it matured. Remember, different trees have different grain, which causes different maturation, which could affect the flavor of a whiskey. So, you know, tree one's probably gonna be different than tree two and so on and so forth for the rest of them. All right, last sip. It's getting darker the more I sip it. Those peach notes are starting now to go to the back. The chocolate, the coffee bean, the little hint of pineapple is still there, but the single pot still spice, the butter shortbread are all not coming to the forefront. This is just gonna be a fantastic whiskey. I wanted to, I wanted to really review this because, you know, people still, even though Irish whiskey is a very, very fast growing category, especially in Ireland with so many distilleries popping up, um, Middleton, one of the oldest brands in the land, is putting out this type of quality whiskey. You know, people tend to still overlook it because they reach for something cheaper. Obviously, this is really expensive. But if you have the means or if you are a huge Irish whiskey fan, I've never had a chance to try one of these Dare Gaelics. It's absolutely incredible. Probably one of the best whiskeys I'm going to have this year and definitely in the running for my top, like, you know, world whiskey for 2022. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed this review for the newest member of the Middleton Dare Gaelic family. This is the Kyle Bag Wood. This happens to be tree number five. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have gotten a chance to try any Dare Gaelic. Uh, they've only had, uh, you know, four previous releases up until this one. So uh, this is their newest one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had this one yet. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. Dare Gaelic for the world. Yes. Cheers.